Hey guys, how you doing? All right, so I had 25 Fallout chassis that uh, just came available. So I have 15 tandems, as you see in the picture, 10 tritums. We are going to take four of these and turn them into five axle dump trucks. And then we are also going to take four of them and turn them into four roll-off trucks. Galfab units, if you like Galfab roll-offs. And we're hoping to have those available here in the next 8 to 12 weeks. With that said, I just wanted to go through some of the specs on these trucks. Um, six of these trucks, we have three that have PTOs and cameras already installed of the tandems. And three of the tritums also have PTOs installed. I do have specific specs and layouts for each truck so that you can see right down to the millimeter how these trucks are built outside of the video. So here we go. Okay guys, apologies in advance for the wind. Um, just wanted to kind of bring these chassis to attention here. Um, we have quite a few fallout trucks. Now these are predominantly spec for hydrovac units. So I have two different specs I'm going to go through. The first one's going to be a tandem with a pusher. These are 2024 567s. 317 inch wheelbase. It's got a 246 cab to axle. I believe, if I'm incorrect, I'll flash it up there. But um, axle spacing is 54 inches, so you got 54 between both drives. 54 for your pressure. It is a Hendrickson. self-steering pusher axle it's got 275 80 r 225 low pro michelins uh, 11 r 225 tall michelins and this is the peterbilt air track suspension air ride 46,000 pound Now this truck is set up with additional electric and air fittings at the back of frame. The transmission does have a jack shaft set up on it. This truck is rated at 79,500 GVW. It is a 10 and 5 8 frame with a 3 quarter sleeve. All the way down. Bodybuilder connections behind cab. It's got an Allison 4500 RDS P transmission. PTO provision with jack shaft again. Some of these are running a new way suspension. I can't remember if it's these or the tri drives, but there's a little bit of variation in some of the suspensions. So that's where some of the variation in price comes in. And then I got some that are already set up with PTOs and cameras all ready to go. 525 Cummins X15 1850 torque. It's got a 20,000 pound Pack R, aka Meritor steer axle. The drive axles in the rear are Meritors as well. Good benefit to the Meritor Packard steer axles. You get a very good turning radius and you're able to keep your tires within the legal limit, of course. Sorry, they're a little bit dirty. Having uh, lots of rainstorms here. Um, these trucks could be trimmed, set up to be uh, roll offs. You can make them into roll offs can make them into uh, dump trucks depending on what state you're in. Some of the axles are 
good. I will have hopefully chassis layouts for you uh, for each of the chassis so that you can see most of them are identical spec. This is the Prestige interior. Final seats. Five extra spare keys. Now this one does have the PTO provision. It is the electric over hydraulic PTO provision. So uh, lots of spares. ABS off-road inter-axle lockers. As I stated before, there's a few that do have PTO setups here on this truck. And I'll show you the camera mount on the inside. And there's the pre-wire for all the camera system that's already pre-installed, ready to go. I got a few of these with the tandems and a few with the tri-drives that are all set up. And the camera is not installed yet, but... It's a buyer system. Okay, this is our tri-drive spec. This is a 345 wheelbase with a 254 cap to axle ratio, which means all the axles are spaced evenly at 54 inches. The engine specs and everything are gonna be identical to the other truck. Still has the Allison 4500 RDSP transmission. Ten and five eight steel rails with the sleeve. I'll have to double check on bodybuilder connections. If they did them, they might have done them in a different location on this one. Still a Hendrickson lift axle, 13.2, 13,000. I'm sorry. And I might have made an error on this one. The CA, I think I said in the prior video, it was like 246, but it's 226, 226.9. Now this one has a 46,000 pound new way air ride suspension, which is in my opinion, the Cadillac of heavy haul air ride suspensions. I believe it's the best. If you look at how the linkage is done on it, it's very good for rough terrain. There's a lot of opportunity for oscillation. The suspension would be good for crane trucks, linemen's boom trucks, all that good stuff. Then again, we have air and electrical connections at the end of frame, ready to go. And you can see both the frames on all these trucks are zinc coated. Very, very good rust inhibitor. All my line haul trucks, I put them on there. You hardly ever see any frame rust. So um, all these guys you see on this line are tandems. Just like this guy here. I have more coming. And then I got this many dry drives. I got about four or five that are back in the shop getting prepped. They wanted to put some wheel covers and stuff on these just so you could see them. Again, 20,000 pound steer axle, 525 Cummins, 1850 torque. Heavy duty front uh, panel on the front.
they're all the same color Michelin steers I forgot to mention that these are 425 65 R225s 135 gallon tank and again the interior is going to be the same five spare keys for each truck I'm I believe they might be keyed the same I'll double check on that as well so if you guys are interested in these please give me a call and I'll see if I can get you the chassis layouts for them so that you can see down to the millimeter, millimeter where every nut and bolt spring shackles are hung from everything else so I uh, appreciate y'all watching I'm at 970-518-5520 and we'll talk to y'all soon stay safe everybody